How's it going guys? I'm Robert from Machado Visuals and here's a little BTS from a recent job I was on. It was sort of a reality dating show with various influencers in this crazy nice villa in Hollywood Hills. Basically, you would take two people, run them through a few different activities and see if they match at the end. In terms of camera, we ended up going with the FX9 because A, I was very comfortable with that camera system and B, we had to source five separate camera packages for this shoot and to be quite honest, the Sonys were probably the most widely available camera system. We had originally looked at using C500 Mark IIs, but we weren't able to find a singular rental house that carried five separate packages and since prep time was pretty tight, we decided to go with Sony. All right, so I wanna talk about a few of the lighting setups. We had a few different scenes prepared so that we could move from one to another without having to reset each time. We were going for a very high key beauty look all around, so we used a lot of softer sources to maintain a really flattering quality of light. The first scene was sort of an intro where talent meets for the first time and they sit facing towards each other. We cross keyed using two Intellitech Mega Light Cloths, which is what you typically do when you have multiple people facing each other. Cross keying is great for multiple people because your key for one talent ends up becoming a backlight for the other and you still get really nice contrast in the face by utilizing that far side key to shoot into the shadows. Our light cloths were rigged using a Menace Max arm and also to the ceiling itself using C-clamps and a piece of speed rail. I've been loving these fixtures lately because they're super lightweight so it's really easy to rig them overhead and not to mention they're super bright and super soft. We set up an M18 outside the window going through an eight by half grid to add a little bit of fill and another Evoke 1200 to give the background a little bit of lift. There were also these huge sliding glass doors in the background that we ended to slow down just a little bit. From there, we would move on to some sort of outdoor activity and my initial thought was to float around a couple 20 bys throughout the day, but our key grip had a really great idea to rig a 30 by 60 overhead. So they tied off from the roof and nearby trees so that we didn't see any stands or frames in the shot, which gave us complete freedom to look any direction we wanted. And it was super helpful given the amount of cameras we were running. Our next setup moves on to the hot tub in sort of an interview setup where talent gets to know each other a little bit more. We used a few different frames depending on the sun's position, but our bread and butter ended up being an eight by 12 half soft frost. Half soft frost is one of my favorite diffusion fabrics because it takes the edge off of harder sources while retaining most of its intensity. One of our stands ended up being in the pool, so our key grip very reluctantly agreed to take a swim and get the frame in the right spot. One of the last setups I wanna talk about is the confessional. These are your quintessential reality show talking heads and we went over a few different options in terms of visual style and I actually took a lot of inspiration from the new Kardashian show on Hulu. I really wanted to shoot everything practically to showcase the natural environment as opposed to using something simple like a white backdrop and their confessionals always have great backgrounds that are super shallow and have a lot of beauty lighting. We set up a simple butterfly light using a 600D with a light dome and another bounce card right under talent. I chose the 600D since we were going up against the window and I wanted to have enough output available in case we needed it. We added a 300D with the lantern modifier as a soft rim light and to also give the room a little bit of ambience. Lastly, we threw up another 300D with the spotlight mount to give a small slash on the wall and I rated a little bit over at 500 EI with about five stops of internal ND and I thought it turned out pretty good. Hopefully this video is helpful in some way. Managing five cameras is a pretty daunting task, but it's pretty easy when you've got a great crew. It's always great whenever I get to work out in LA. Everyone just gets it and does their job really well. Shout out to our ACs, Sean and Baby J. They did a tremendous job with assisting all of our operators. The FX9s ended up being the absolute perfect tool for this job. We were writing the variable ND all day and as we switched exterior setups, I could quickly call out a new ND setting and all the camera operators would literally dial it in. There was even a quick scene in an escape room with very little to no light. So we popped on a smaller 16 to 35 on one of the cameras and switched it into the high base ISO and it ended up looking great. Our DAT actually mentioned to me that he usually doesn't like Sony footage, but this job actually ended up changing his mind, which I thought was pretty interesting. If you have any questions on this video, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.